Hello everybody and welcome back to Sciard Shop Channel. Okay, we're back on the um, Fairweather Rock and uh, here it is. Now what I've done is finished it all off with the uh, paper mache look and I've also give it one coat of um, white paint, acrylic paint. Uh, and you're probably wondering, why did I do that? Simon, why did you do that? I can hear you ask. Well, it is because um, obviously it just looked like um, paper stuck on cardboard, which is what it was. So I find if you give um, something like this a paint of uh, white, uh, coat of white paint, and uh, it gets rid of um, all the uh, bits and pieces that would put you off um, trying to understand how it looks, if that makes sense. So now I can see all the uh, contours of my rock and uh, see where I need to go over with some clay, which I will do in a moment, just to show you um, how to get over the rough bits, um, because some of it still looks like it's stuck with um, paper, uh, which obviously it is, but we need to get over that and make sure that it, it doesn't look like that. So, uh, yeah, so I find giving it a... Uh, just a lick of paint, white paint, um, brings it all together and you can see what you're playing with basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, yeah? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, on, for this particular clip, I am going to use some air dry clay and fill in all these holes. Uh, I don't know whether you can see that? There's a big hole there where I didn't cover it very well with my paper mache. Um, and there's other bits and pieces like round here where my finger is there and there's a bit there and you know some of it looks like a rock now like that bit on the top looks like a rock but there's other bits that don't look like a rock it looks like pieces of cardboard and uh, paper stuck on and uh, that's not what you want so we're going to get rid of that and i'm going to show you how you do that now believe it or not very exciting very exciting right what you will need for this part of this uh, amazing uh, rock is some air dry clay. Now I've got this particular brand. Um, there are loads and loads of different um, brands out there in the world. Um, but this is a particular one Daz I'm using. And um, it's quite a heavy clay, believe it or not. Some of the others are a bit lighter. So you need to, um, well, depending on what you want to do, you want to... Um, experiment that's the word experiment with different kinds of clay but this is uh pretty much all around the world so you can get this one but it's a good one um so that's why i'm using that and uh, it's already open so i thought why not let's just use that you know go for it go for it um so what we need to do now is like i said before fill these holes and uh, try to make it a bit more rock like and uh, what i've done is um i've prepared this earlier i've made some slip if you know what slip is, I think it's called slip anyway. I'm no expert on this, but it is um, clay uh, with water mixed together, and that helps clay and clay stick together. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, Simon, you're not sticking clay and clay together. That is correct. I am not. I am sticking uh, paper and cardboard uh, to clay. So what I normally do is just put a bit of um, PBA glue, school glue, and, and stick it on like that. Now this time I thought I'd, I'd try a new experiment. I've never done this before guys, so it's very exciting. So I've made some slips. So I've just basically um, mixed in some of my air dry clay with some uh, water, not very much, just make it a, a thick cream consistency. You can't really see that, but uh, it is in there. And I've also put some of my PVA in there as well, just to make it a little bit more sticky. And I'm going to use that, and I'm going to use an old brush. I'm not going to use a good brush for this because I'm just basically going to put it in and use it as a glue. And where I want it, I will just uh, place it in these little nooks and crannies, these holes and bits and pieces, and uh, I will spread the clay and sort of get it all into all the contours of my rock to make it more rock-like. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. Now, what you need to do is open your um, clay, like so, and uh, try it. Sometimes at the end, if you haven't sealed it very well, it's a little bit too hard. Um, but this one is uh, not too bad. And I'm just going to get another bit. And what I'm going to do is, there it is there, just knead it a little bit. Do you know what I mean? What I'm saying, you do, you do. That's great. Just knead it. It's a little bit tough, this one, but when you keep kneading it, it uh, gets a bit easier. And we're just going to pull a little bit off 
like so. And then I'm going to go back and find these little holes, well, big holes actually. And what I'll probably do is just use some of my slip, my luxury slip that I made. Can you see that? You can, you can, that's great. And I'm just gonna pop that in there just to fill the hole, just to give it something to stick on to. Now, sometimes I find when I used to use um, glue, um, some of the air dry clays, when they dry, which takes about two or three days, depending on your clay, it shrinks a little bit and uh, you need, to, and it sometimes comes off the projects that I'm making. So uh, I need to stick them back on anyway. Um, but I'm going to try this effect with this slip to see if this helps. It may do, it may not. But, uh, you know, you've got to try these things, haven't you guys? You know what I mean, what I'm saying? You do, you do, that's great. So what I'm going to do is just um, push that in there like so, okay? And then just mess about with it and uh, fill the holes. So that's what I'm doing there. And, uh, yes, yeah, so you just go around filling those holes. And I'm going to put a little bit more slip there because uh, there's a little hole there and I didn't put any sort of this glue slip. So I'm going to do that. And then what you want to do is, can you see this? You just want to like press it in and sort of get it all to link nicely. If you can do that. Um, don't worry too much if it looks like it's just been stuck on because um, once this is all dry, uh, I'll do another clip and I'll show you what you do next uh, to, um, you know, cover cover the rock and make it more rock-like, okay? Because we need to make it a little bit more bumpy. So we're going to use um, sand and things like that and little bits of grit uh, before we actually paint it and do all the shadows and things and make it even more rock-like. So, uh, yes, it's very exciting. So bear with me um, and keep watching while I get to that stage because it'd be very sad if you did um, stop watching me because uh, you wouldn't find out how to do it and then uh, you'll never be able to make a a fake rock and you know and you know you'll probably be very sad for the rest of your life or something like that but uh, anyway going off on a tangent you don't want to hear about my uh, my uh, fake rock in that way do you no you don't okay so what i'm going to do now is just show you up close what i've done can you see that is slightly a different color um and then uh, you just keep offering it up like so okay and now, if you wanted, if you was happy with that, you could actually put a bit of, um, a bit of, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Simon? Good question. A little bit of, um, oh, I can't even think how to speak today. Uh, to put, um, well, basically, you get one of these, a little pipe cleaner or anything like that, or an old toothbrush or anything like that. And then you just pop it on like that and just offer it up and keep tapping just to give it a little um, indentations. We use that word, indentations again just to make it a little bit different and rock-like, okay? So I'm just gonna do that. Normally I would wait until I've done all the bits and pieces, but uh, I, it's quite hot here at the moment, so the um, air-dried clay will uh, probably set before I get to that stage. And like I say, you don't have to be perfect with this because it's, um, it's a rock, so it's quite good. It's very forgiving, this rock, okay? So there you go. So I'm just doing that. And uh, already I'm quite pleased with that, considering I've just tapped that on there for a few seconds. Okay, so can you see that? Slightly see that. Can you see that? So see, I've just made it, you know, and then there's, looks like some big um, holes there. So that's probably not what I want. So I'm just gonna push those down slightly. But don't worry too much, like I say, because it's gonna stick some sand on it and things and gravel. And so you cover all this up, it's very forgiving. So it's a good way to get used to using uh, air dry clay and uh, go from there. So uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna do the rest of it. I'm not gonna um, video the whole of me doing this um, because uh, another, you know, another hour of me doing that will bore you to death. And you don't want to be doing that. And, uh, you know, I've got no friends here, so I can't speak to anyone at the same time, apart from you guys, obviously. But it's all one-sided. I can't hear you speak to me back. So if I did go live, you know, that'd be much better because I could sit here talking to you all uh, for a good hour or so while I do it and show you what I'm doing. We can talk about loads of things. But uh, unfortunately, today we can't do that because it's a little clipette. Okay, so I'm going to get on with it. Um, and then uh, I'll cut this clip in, I'll stop this clip, not cut it, um, in a sec. And uh, then I will show you um, the next stage. 
very very exciting so keep watching guys and uh, keep like and subscribing and doing all those funny things you have to do with youtube people um that do these sort of set up things and uh yeah see i don't even know what it is because you know i'm just making it up as I go along but uh, anyway going off on a tangent you don't want to hear about that so uh yes let's stop this clip and i've got a new clicker guys you'll be pleased to know so and it actually does work i actually spent what some of my um, money and uh, i bought one and uh, now it should stop so uh yeah, this, it's just so exciting. I don't even have to go near the camera or anything. So, uh, yeah, it's all coming on. I'm learning every day and it's a little bit, um, a little bit better every day. And I've changed all the lighting because you keep seeing uh, reflections in my glasses. So I've changed the way I sit so you guys can see my eyes because I think it's very important to see someone's eyes. It's the, um, you see into their soul, don't you? Can you see into my soul? You can, you can. That's great. It's a very good soul, by the way. Um, but you probably already know that. Um, but yeah, I'm going off on one again. But uh, yeah, I'm going to use my luxury clicker and stop now because we're on 11 minutes and I'm talking really fast because I don't want you to uh, uh, have to watch me for any longer than you need to. Okay, so thanks for watching. Click and subscribe and tell all your friends and friends you don't have yet that they need to uh, subscribe as well. Okay, uh, use my clicker now and uh, I'll be quiet. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, it's not working. Why oh, it's not working?